guys welcome back okay so y'all know what time it is your girl been shopping so in order for me to be able to put all this stuff away and start shopping my stash and using this stuff i'm doing a haul <laughs> so yeah i've been shopping as usual y'all it is so freaking hot right now i got a fan over here i got a fan over there the ac is coming on periodically your girl, look, I know I have been experiencing hot flashes. Can't nobody tell me I have not, okay? Because I know my body, and I just feel like every now and then, I feel like I'm bursting into flames, okay? So, your girl is experiencing hot flashes. So, <laughs> y'all going to be hearing fans probably in all my videos, okay? So, anywho, let's go ahead jump into this haul. I don't even know where to start because it is quite a lot and it is palette heavy y'all know how it go it's palette heavy today so let's just go ahead and get started Okay, so let me go ahead and start with what I have right in front of me, which is Juvia's new holiday release. Okay, both of their palettes here. I have the Nubian Glow and the Nubian Royal. Um, yeah, I bought the whole little kits, you know, that have lip balms and stuff in them. These two palettes are so freaking pretty. I mean, the packaging is gorgeous. The boxes that they came in are right there, right behind me. If you haven't seen them, those are really, really pretty as well. But yeah, <laughs> spoiler alert, I love these palettes. I don't know which video is going to be up first, this haul or this look, but yeah, this little sunrise, sunset situation going on. I use these two palettes, <laughs> okay, and I love them, so yeah, just in case you haven't seen them, I know I'm sitting here holding up palettes and they all closed. This one is the Nubian, what is it called? Glow, the Nubian Glow. Oh my gosh, it's so gorgeous. There is glitter in here, so just wanna let you know that just in case you haven't heard it a million times. These palettes do have a pressed glitter in them, so if you don't like glitter, you know, but it's only one in each palette, so it's not too bad, but when you're talking about a six pan palette, that can be a little bit annoying, but these are the colors in here. Mattes are gorgeous. Shimmers are gorgeous. I love it. Like I said, I'm wearing it today. So, yeah, I would highly suggest these. Really, really like them. Now, also in the, what do you call it, the little holiday kits, like I said, you get the palette and then you get two lip balms. So I did get those lip balms that came in with those palettes, but I also ordered the little lip balm kit separately, okay, which I really didn't need, but it comes with five different lip balms. So these are the five that came in the little lip balm set that I got. So I believe it's like berry, caramel, mint, um... I don't know. Y'all know I can't see. Mango passion fruit. <laughs> but yeah, they're so cute. So pretty. I don't know. I might keep the package. I might not, but they're really cute. Now for the glow palette, she did include these two lip balms. You know, if you got the little holiday kit. I don't know why she decided to do the squeezy tube instead of the actual, you know, lip balm that twists up. But, I mean, I'm not mad at it, I guess. I prefer the twist-up kind, but, you know, she did include the little tube. So, got that. Okay, so I think that's it that I got from Juvia's Place that I can see. I ordered some stuff from Milani, okay? Milani came out with these cream blushes, and y'all know how much I love blush, okay? So, I it was a no-brainer for me. When I saw them, I was like, I gots to have them. So I ordered all four. I think there are four all together. I was kind of getting them confused because e.l.f. just dropped some new cream blushes as well. But I think e.l.f. dropped a whole bunch of them. And I only ordered, I think, like six of the different colors. So, But I think for Milani, I got the four that they had to offer. Very, very pretty. I did post pictures of these on my Instagram. Now, I am wearing one of these blushes right now. Okay, so you can see it in action, in full effect. Spoiler alert, I love this blush. 
I do. It's so pretty. I mean, I just use the damp sponge to tap it on. I put it on on top of my powder because y'all know I'm good for forgetting to put cream blush on before I powder. I put it on top of my powder and it still looks beautiful and glowy. I love it. So yeah, for these blushes, I did swatch them in my video using the new Juvia's Place holiday palettes. So if you want to see what the swatches look like, but they're really nice. They're really, really nice. And they're lasting because I've had this on for a little while now. They're lasting. So Also from Milani, I did pick up their little Halloween palette, I guess. This is their Beautiful Nightmare. Really cute. I haven't seen a lot of people talking about this palette. I really haven't. It's really cute to me, though. It has the blue, the green. I think this shimmer here really caught my attention because it looks very, very cute. Um, I believe I saw Annette do a look with this palette. So that's what that blue looks like. Really pretty. It's not anything blinding, but it's really pretty. And yeah, it's a little, looks like a little dual chrome situation. You know, it's like I said, it's not anything super fancy, but I think it's really pretty. Okay, so I did get that and it's called The Beautiful Nightmare. Also from Milani, I picked up this Milani Intense Bronze Glow. I was kind of perusing through the sale items on their website and came across this. It looks like this really pretty gold packaging. I don't want to blind you, but big giant mirror in here. And this is what it looks like. Oh my gosh, isn't it pretty? Gorgeous. Let me do a little swatchy swatch for y'all. Mm. It doesn't feel as nice and smooth as some other, you know, highlighters that I've come across in this style. But, yo, that is really pretty. That is gorgeous. So this is the Milani Intense Bronze Glow Sun-Kissed Bronzer. Very, very pretty. Y'all know I'm a sucker for highlight, too. Okay, I also got these from the little sales section. And I'm not sure, quite sure exactly how I want to use this. This is called Amber Nectar. And it, it looks really, really pretty. You can see here, it's like this whole little combination of like different colored flowers. And from what it says on here, you can use this for like a brightening or highlighting type of powder or a bronzer or a blush. So depending, I guess, on your skin tone. For me, I did kind of play around with this a little bit today and I used it just kind of like to brighten up under my eyes just a teeny tiny bit. Nothing wild and crazy. So I'm still trying to figure this out, but I just thought it was so pretty. It's really, really different and I wanted to try it out. So I got this off the sale aisle. I also picked this up. This is another blush. This is called Color Harmony. If y'all hear a dog, they out there howling today, but it's called Pink play so really pretty light pink blush but it kind of seems like it has a little bit of sheen to it and I've kind of been really enjoying using blushes that have like a little bit of sheen to it because it kind of doubles as a blush and a highlight type situation so I'm looking forward to trying this out and then lastly from Milani I just picked up two brushes because they were on sale as well I got this all over eyeshadow brush I don't know if you can see that it's kind of like a large blending type brush and then I also got this highlighter blending brush so it's a highlighter brush but it looks like it's kind of large a little bit larger than the normal highlighting brush so i feel like i can use this for multiple uses maybe yeah so got those now let me quickly go through some of the stuff that i picked up from elf um elf came out with i don't know if these are new or not but i had never seen them they are facial mists so they're like restoring mists and they have different fragrances or different flavors so I picked up these three because these are three that I know that I really really like the scent of this one is rose scented and this one yeah this one is called restoring and it's rose scented this one here is calming and this one is infused with lavender oil so you know the calming scent of lavender and this one here is infused with citrus oil and it's called energizing 
so this one has like a citrus scent to it so yeah I wanted to try these out I love like refreshing type sprays especially after I powder up and everything I like to just spritz all over give myself a nice healthy glow I use this one today the rose one and I really like it smells good felt good and I feel like I have a nice healthy glow so I like it also from elf I picked up some essentials that I use a lot I like to have them on hand I try out a lot of different skincare, but there's some items that are just basics to me. This one is the e.l.f. Daily Face Cleanser. I've been using this for years. Whenever I just want a nice clean face and I don't want to have to think about what I'm using and what goes with what and yada yada, I use this. So I actually picked up about four of these and just put them in my skincare drawer because they were on sale for like a couple of bucks. And I was like, uh, hello. So yeah, I stocked up on those. I also stocked up on these uh, face erase pads. These were on sale too. And although I still use wipes, you know, to like wipe off, you know, swatches and stuff like that. When I'm taking off my makeup, if I use like a makeup balm or makeup eraser, I like to just wet these with some warm water and just use it, wipe all my makeup off, squeeze it out, you know, clean it and good to go. And it's good for the environment. They're reusable. You know, you're not using a whole bunch of wipes on your face and stuff. So I really, really like using these. I think these were only like a couple of bucks. And I grabbed a bunch of these to just have on hand, you know. So when I need to wash them, I can just grab a new one. So really, really like that. I don't know. I think every time I order from e.l.f. now, I'm getting a hand sanitizer. So I'm pretty sure they're giving away a free hand sanitizer with their orders, which I think is great. So yeah, I got a free hand sanitizer. <laughs> I love throwing these in my purse, especially in this day and age, okay? And y'all know how I am when it comes to brushes, okay? Elf, you know, they have all their little holiday kits and holiday sets out. And I just, I can never resist their brush sets, okay? I know, I know. I don't need another brush to save my life. But I did pick up a couple of their holiday brush sets. <laughs> This one is the $10 one. It's called the Sugar Rush uh, Four Piece Brush Set. So this is what it looks like. Sorry about the glare, you guys. But this is what it looks like. And these are the brushes that are in here. Let me, you know what, let me see if I can open this right quick. Okay, so just taking it out of the box, it still has this bright holographic background. But hopefully you can see it a little bit better. So it says here that it has a powder brush, a buffing foundation brush, a fluffy eye blending brush, and an eye, eyebrow duo brush. So yeah, pretty cool. You know, it has a dual ended brush in here. I thought these were so cute. They are. They're really cute. So that's what they look like. Okay. Very, very nice. Ooh, that is soft. Okay. I didn't expect it to be that soft. So yeah, nice and soft. I really like that. And then I also got the e.l.f. Sugar High 7-piece brush set. So this one is, you know, same thing like Sugar High, but it's a different color. These are like purple ones. Very, very pretty. And let's see, this one has powder brush, highlighting brush, fluffy eye blender brush, refining brush, small angle brush concealer brush and eyebrow duo brush so yeah this one has some of the same brushes some different brushes in here very very nice let me see what's happening so that's what that looks like so cute oh and that's nice and soft as well elf has some really decent brushes you know for the price this set is what 15 bucks yeah, 15 bucks and the other one was 10 bucks. So I ain't mad at it. Great holiday gifts to give, you know, to makeup lovers, especially young makeup lovers. You know, stuff like this is really cute and it's useful and it's cheap. Also from e.l.f., I picked up this Sheer Slick Lipstick. I guess it's kind of like a lip gloss. And this one is Golden Pear. Very, very pretty. Let me see what it looks like. Oh, okay. So it looks like everybody is coming out with this like style of like lip balm, lipstick or whatever, you know, with a nice slender, thin little 
you know, lipstick. I'm done. I can't smell anything, so unless my <laughs> nose is dead, it doesn't have a scent. But yeah, really, really cute. I don't know what made me grab this. Maybe I just wanted to try it, but yeah, this one is golden pear. Very pretty. Okay, now I did pick up a few things from Sephora. Um, this was a little while ago, though. You know, I'm still waiting on the sale <laughs> to pick up a few more things. Um, but I did purchase this bright and beaming brush set. So yeah, I got another brush set. Don't kill me, okay? This one was $49. Very, very pretty though. Let me take it out so you can see. So it's kind of hard for me to take out of here, so I won't take everything out. But this is what this set looks like. $49 at Sephora. And it says, you can see it has Sephora there on the ferrule. Nice, beautiful, clear and gold handle. And the brushes are just really, really gorgeous. So yeah, I got this one from Sephora. And I only got one more brush set, y'all. Okay, just one more. And this one is the It Cosmetics Rose Gold Complexion Brush Set. But I think I got this from Ulta. Yeah, I think I got this from Ulta. I'm not sure. I don't remember, you guys. But let me show you this one. Yeah, this one is really, really cute. Look at this little cup that it comes in. Very, very pretty. And then these are the brushes very very pretty oh my gosh and they are super soft i love it cosmetic brushes i just i do already know that i'm gonna love these because they're in shapes that i definitely am going to use all four of these i'm going to use for sure so yeah this one is really really cute how much did i pay for this did i pay for nah i didn't pay 59 dollars for this I know me. I didn't pay $59 for this. It must have been on sale. So, <laughs> I'll look up the price and put it on the screen. If I pay $59, well, they are eight cosmetic brushes. So, I don't know. Maybe I was having a moment. I might have paid $59 for these. I don't know. But I got these. Okay, I also picked up one of the Rare Beauty Lip Balms. My girl DJ said these are bombs. So, I went ahead and picked one up from Sephora. And I think the packaging is so cute. Look at that packaging. It's like flat on the bottom and then it's round, if you can see that. So, very, very cute. Once again, that nice, same sleek lip balm look. So, got one of these to try out. Which one is this? This one is Praise. It's called Praise. I also picked up this duo from Clinique. Okay, this was on sale. I might have got this from Ulta now that I think about it. I can't remember. I just throw all my stuff in one drawer and, honey, I don't be remembering. So, they have this cute little duo of lip balms. This one is called... This one is the Take Two Honey Honey. <laughs> and it is Black Honey and Pink Honey. So, that's what the little name swatch looks like. And it's just two cute little lip balms in there. I think these will be really nice to just kind of throw them in your purse. You know, you have two different colors. They're very small, you know, very bite-sized, so it's not anything too intrusive. And I believe these do have just a slight bit of color to them. So that is what they look like. Very, very cute. I don't smell anything for these either. I don't know, y'all. My my nose might be <laughs> on the, uh, the fritz today. But I don't think these have a smell because I can't smell them. I wish I could remember if I got those from Ulta or Sephora. Honey, I don't remember. This I'm pretty sure I got from Sephora. This is the Christmas Snuggles and Melted Kisses uh, lip set. So it's four different colors in here. These are the colors. So pretty. So, so pretty. I I am about to go through a whole lipstick declutter and just kind of clear out all of my old lipsticks. I have a lot of old ColourPop lipsticks, matte liquid lipsticks, stuff that I really don't wear anymore and that's like years old that needs to go. So, you know, I don't feel too bad grabbing some new lipsticks because I'm about to get rid of a lot of lipsticks. I also picked up this cute little uh, Becca and Barbie Fieria Prismatica. Uh, lip trio 
they were on sale you know so i did go ahead and grab them i thought they were super duper pretty and i'm like you know what let me check them out okay i don't think i have any becca lip glosses so i don't know if these would be like the same type of formula with it being a collab but i thought they were really really pretty and i like the holographic top very cute so yeah i believe they have these on sale at sephora and ulta not sure if they're still there but pick those up okay this stuff i know i got from ulta this is a blush trio called berry spice cute little gray packaging it's a uh, hard plastic Let's see if i can open this with these nails on does have a mirror in here which is really cool and these are the colors so you get a nice kind of like peachy coral shade a beautiful merlot and then a light really light pink in there so very very pretty i like it nice size pans too so yeah and I know I got this for very, very little. I also picked up these three LA Girl eyeshadow palettes. I've had these for a while, actually. I picked these up quite a while ago. They've just been sitting in my haul drawer, waiting for me to use them, swatch them, play with them. But they uh, came out with these three different little palettes, and they're so gorgeous. Um, really, really pretty. This one is called Downplay. And this one is kind of like the cool tone, dark, smoky one. Cute little small palettes that you could use if you don't like the larger palettes that can be a bit much to kind of deal with or trying to figure out an eye look. Something small like this is a little bit easier, you know, because you have your crease colors, you have your brightening colors, and then you have your deepening shade and your lid colors. So it's really easy to do a look with these. Not too many things you can do this one is called foreplay really really pretty nice beautiful warm tones in here it kind of gives me that warm caramel even borderline what is it kind of uh, corally type tone you know to it so or more kind of like orangey peachy tone I guess but very very pretty another easy palette to use beautiful golds in there and then this one, I don't know, is it kind of like a pinky tone? Yeah, it kind of looks more like a pinky tone, wobby tone situation, but still very, very neutral. The color in here, very lightweight, very easy to create an eye look with these without getting overwhelmed. So I really just wanted to play with them. I really like the LA Girl eyeshadow formula, the newer stuff that they're coming out with in these palettes with the larger pans. I like the, what is it, 16 pan palettes. Those are bomb. Okay, so yeah, I wanted to check these out as well. Okay, so also from Ulta, I believe I picked up this Revolution, the Nightmare Before Christmas palette. This one is Jack. So I'm not familiar with the Nightmare Before Christmas. i never seen it, so... <sighs> But, I mean, I know of it, you know what I mean? So this is the Jack palette. I didn't get the other palette. Uh, what was her name? Jill? I don't know. <laughs> I didn't get that palette because it didn't talk to me. I got this one because it talked to me, you know? I like the fact that it has the neutral side and the colorful side. Sorry about the glare, you guys. But um, let me rip this off. When I tell you guys that I put on nails just for you guys, honey, it's for y'all because... If it was up to me, I would be out here with little stubs all the time because <laughs> they just get in the way. But this is what the palette looks like. So it has, you know, a little basic neutral side with a bright red, deep brown. Um, and then it also has, you know, this side with all these really pretty bright shades. I mean, the colors are really, really pretty in here. Now, Revolution is hit or miss quite a bit, so... I'm really not expecting that much from this palette, but maybe I'll be pleasantly surprised if it works out, you know, really nice. So, yeah, but I picked that up. I thought that was cute to add to my collection. Now, Ulta had all of these Revlon, like, lip shine, lip balms on sale. You know, I don't know if everybody's, like, trying to compete or highlight their lip balms and lip shines and stuff with Pat McGrath and stuff, but... Yeah, so these were on sale for like six bucks and 
y'all know i can't just do one shade one color one flavor i hate this like wrapper that they have on here it's really annoying but i know if i take them all off it's gonna have that sticky stuff but yeah it's really annoying but these are the revlon what are they called it just says shine super lustrous shine uh lipsticks i guess but it has that same look that same feel and these are definitely like lip balms they're not lipsticks they're like lip balms i have a nude one that i have right on my vanity one in my purse oh my goodness these things are the most moisturizing it just makes your lips feel so soft and just amazing okay I mean, I dare say that they feel like just as good as the Pat McGrath ones that I spent $36 on, okay? But very, very nice. If you try these out, you'll see what I mean. It's like it gives your lips such a beautiful, glossy shine. They feel amazing on your lips, and I just I love them to death. They're not sticky at all. It's a balm. But yeah, I got some a bunch of different colors like pinks and corals and stuff. But they're all very, very sheer. So you can wear them with anything because you can't really see the color. They're very, very sheer. <sighs> okay, so I'm trying to stay with where I bought what. I bought um, a bunch of palettes from Beauty Bay and a few complexion products from Beauty Bay as well but I also have a couple of palettes here from Sephora I believe I did pick up this Too Faced Mario Amore Caliente palette if you watch my channel you know I did a look using this palette Too Faced did the dang thing with this palette okay it's very Valentine-esque very I love you let's go out on a romantic date type feel ready pinky all of that um so i don't know you know as far as it's coming out this time of year but this palette is gorgeous i really enjoyed using it the quality is bomb i mean Too faced has a really really nice shadow formula in this palette okay now i can say that me using the pumpkin spice i love that palette and using this palette i love it so I'm starting to get a little bit of a better feel with Too Faced with some of their releases because those two, not bad, okay? Now I'm going to put a little bit of this um, lip balm. This is one of the Juvia's Place ones, the Berry, that came in my Royal Holiday Kit. I'm going to put a little bit of this on because my lips are feeling a little bit dry. And what I have on is my Ellery and ColourPop lip liner, basically, you know, using it like a lipstick because it's so bold in color and just using this berry just to kind of give me a little bit of, you know, luscious <laughs> juiciness to my lips. So I really like these as well. These are great. Um, but like I said, with me talking, it has kind of wore off a little bit. Now, lastly from Sephora, I did pick up this Violet Voss See You Later palette very very pretty absolutely gorgeous packaging i did a look using this palette as well um it's up on my instagram this palette is really pretty very very nice gorgeous colors gorgeous shades i don't know you know why this came out this time of year basically you know end of summer and whatnot but very very pretty gorgeous shades um I haven't edited this video yet, but spoiler alert, it's not my favorite palette. <laughs> I'll just say that. It's not one of my favorites, not even close. So yeah, this video, hopefully I will get to editing it and getting it up. I love the look that I did with it, but using it was not enjoyable for me. No, so yeah, got that. Okay, so let's go ahead and go through some of this Beauty Bay stuff. I have really been kind of like on a Beauty Bay like frenzy ordering stuff from them because it comes so quickly to me. I order it and I get it within like a few days and I really like that. But what baffles me is the fact that Beauty Bay, the way they package their stuff is horrible. <laughs> I mean, it is really not protected that great at all. But I have never had anything damaged. Never had anything damaged from Beauty Bay. So I'm really shocked knock on wood because 
yeah the way they package stuff you would think it would come just completely blown to smithereens but anyway i also picked up this new revolution palette look at the packaging isn't it so spooky and halloween and just kind of cold dusky night yeah it's called the forever flawless enchanted so this is the enchanted palette and these deep dark blues and rich colors and just coolness to it just drew me in so yeah hopefully the formula is not trash because you know i'm really looking forward to like kind of playing with this dark area down here these greens are really pretty you know kind of warm and grungy but it also has that cool feel to it so yeah i like this palette i think it looks really really cool so happy i got that now this palette here is one of those where you see it online and you're like that's pretty those colors are gorgeous and everything and then you order it and get it in person and it's like wah, wah. so this is a sample bo sample beauty sample booty <laughs> cult palette very plain basic packaging and this is what the palette looks like so when I saw it online, I was like, oh, that's pretty. Yeah, something it's something about the way that they arrange these colors just kind of was like, yeah, I'm feeling that. I'm feeling that. I like that. I like this smokiness down here. They added this bright couple of pops in there. Then you got, you know, your basic earthy warm stuff going on. Yeah, I like how they laid it out. But when I looked at this palette, just in person it gives me I don't even know what kind of vibes it, it gives me like Aliexpress vibes or <laughs> Amazon no-name palette vibes that's just what it gives me you know sometimes you can just look at shadows and they just look dusty and ashy so this is one that I'll actually have to try to you know see okay let it surprise me but it truly is giving me like Amazon no name palette vibes when I look at it. Just it looked dusty. <laughs> it looks dusty. Okay, now these palettes here that I got from Beauty Bay, gorgeous. Okay, and these are actually Beauty Bay brand palettes. Okay, so this one here is the Sunset Horizons. Look at this packaging. Ah, it matches my eyes. Look. Look, look at your girl. <laughs> it matches me. So, yeah, it's gorgeous. And this is what she looks like. Look at this palette. Look at it. Look at these shimmers. Ugh. I like how they place the shimmers because it's like semi in a pattern, you know, boom, 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 you know. But, yeah, I'm feeling it. I like this little area up here. This whole row right here is like, hello. This whole row down here, cool tone, dark, smoky, yes. I like it. I like it a lot. I don't know. The arrangement, the color scheme is popping. So I can't wait to play with this. Cannot wait. And this other one, I guess this is their like Halloween spooky time release. This one is called the Book of Magic. I've seen, you know, some of my fellow YouTubers playing around with this doing looks with it and uh yeah I'm really really itching to play with this as well I try not to do too many blue purple looks because I I love blue and I could do a blue look every day <laughs> so I try to just kind of slip them in every now and then but this palette uh it has like you know these really pretty like lighter what is it aqua type blues mixed in with the dark ones that just gives it that different type of feel and these purples here you got the light ones and then that one deep dark punch right there and then the black in the middle this whole arrangement with the silver down here is just chef's kiss perfect so I'm hoping that this palette will perform for me but I feel like it's been getting decent reviews I think yeah so looking forward to this a lot yeah really really am next i picked up this sample beauty painters palette so this is the same brand as that <laughs> palette that i showed earlier where i was like it looked kind of dusty 
look a little ashy. So this is the same brand, Sample Beauty. And it's like, I really, really am trying to, to love Sample Beauty. I have one of their palettes I do absolutely love, which is the Prodigy palette. This palette here, oh my goodness. I love, 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 love this palette. I mean, it's just bomb. The colors, the arrangement, the shades, the shimmers, everything. I love this palette, okay? And this is from Sample Beauty. But then I also have this palette here, the Equalizer palette from Sample Beauty. Not my favorite. <laughs> All I could say not my favorite and you would think that I really really would love this palette because it's so colorful and bright but yeah the formula on here is just very mediocre at best okay to me in my opinion okay it's my opinion <laughs> but yeah in my opinion it's just a little mediocre okay so it's like you got a palette that's just okay you got a palette that is bomb so we'll just see how it goes but yeah this is the painters palette I don't even know if I showed this so this is the new palette that I got from sample beauty and this one actually looks a million times better than that first one that I was looking at that I said looks ashy so I have high hopes for this I believe this is a collab palette and you know with collab palettes Typically, you get a little bit better formula, a little bit better performance. So, I'm hoping that's the case with this one because this palette is so freaking pretty. Look at it. It's gorgeous. The colors in here are really, really pretty. So, yeah, this is uh, a collab with Beth Painter. Yeah, I'm not sure who that is, but yeah, Beth Painter and Sample Beauty. Now, I also grabbed this BH Cosmetics palette. I'm not sure if I got this from Ulta I think I got this from Ulta anyway this is their holiday palette the naughty so this is the naughty palette <laughs> and I was cracking up because it's called the naughty palette and it says ho ho holidays okay ho 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 naughty anyway y'all get it so yeah this is what she looks like this is what the naughty ho ho holiday palette looks like from BH Cosmetics and I think it's gorgeous I do I think it's really really pretty um they've been doing really really good with their formula in their latest palettes you know so I'm thinking this might be pretty good as well so we shall find out because it's very very pretty I like this color story it's a little bit different and it does kind of give me like ho 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 Christmas vibes you know it does yeah so I like it and lastly from Beauty Bay I did pick up a couple of their bronzer slash contour and one of their blushes this one is the blush it's called Cosmo I like their packaging with the B on there but this one is Cosmo I know super duper bright not for this type of year time of year but y'all know I will rock this mug okay so very very pretty I also picked up this bronzer in the shade chestnut and I did use this today okay so I have on miss chestnut today getting a little bronzy bronze on okay and so far I'm feeling it so far I think it's working out and I got this darker shade here button because I was like well let me use that for or try to use that for a contour because it's very coffee deep cocoa delicious okay so that is what button looks like and these are very very affordable you know the beauty bay brand very inexpensive very affordable so if you're looking for like a new bronzer contour shade or even blush to try check them out okay so i got those picked up a couple of things from color pop um don't say nothing i don't even want to hear it I don't want to hear it, okay? I picked up the taupe palette. <laughs> I know, I know. I'm stuck. Look, I don't know. What is wrong with me? I saw somebody using this. Who did I see? Was it Andrea Renee? I saw somebody using this. Nice Cocolicious vibe going on. And the look she did was 
bomb. I don't remember who it was, but honey, the look sold me the palette, okay? So anyways, this is what the taupe palette looks like from ColourPop. Really pretty gorgeous shimmers in here. So yeah, I'm, I'm gonna try it out. I'm gonna try it out and see what happens, okay? So just don't, don't come for me, okay? Don't come for me. Also from ColourPop, well this came from Soul Body. Um, this I definitely saw on Andrea Renee's um, channel. It is, what is this called? Face and Body Bronzing Balm. It says it's a cream balm bronzer that enhances your natural skin tone with a radiant touch of color. Effortlessly blends in a velvety smooth, soft focus finish and leaves skin instantly sun-kissed okay so it's like a cream type bronzer but it's supposed to be you know I guess a bit more subtle or whatever not just like boom color instant in your face I'm not gonna swatch it now because I'm gonna use this in a video but I thought this color was really really pretty which one is this this is deep yeah this one is in the shade deep so we gonna check this out but I really really am hopeful that this is gonna look nice and natural and just you know really pretty y'all I don't even know if I'm halfway through <laughs> it's gonna be a long one okay okay now I did pick up some lipsticks when crayon case had their big sale where everything was like 40% off or something I picked up some lipsticks because like I said I'm going through a lipstick to clutter soon and you guys know I love bright bold colors and the crayon case has some serious bright bold lipsticks so I decided to go ahead and grab some of their lipsticks in some bright bold colors so that when I toss my old ones I will have some replacements now let's just hope that I like these because I got like blues greens purples orange yellow you know like seriously bold colors let me just open one so you can see the packaging and you know get a feel for what they look like so this is what it looks like their packaging and the color oh my goodness honey that is bright Ooh, but can't you see that with a bomb eye look hello <laughs> so yeah I did pick up these from the crayon case what I'm really, really curious about is this orange. Like, how is that gonna look? Other colors, I feel like I can pull off an orange for some reason on my lips. That's a tough one. Okay, so before I run quickly through my indie brand palettes, which I believe is all I have left, y'all, a bunch of indie brand palettes. Um, yeah, uh, I wanted to go ahead and show you. Of course, I got the <laughs> upside down. The Pat McGrath Celestial Divinity, is that what it's called? Yeah, I got this, I don't know, maybe a week or so ago, but by the time I got it, I was a bit deflated because I was a bit disappointed in how long it took me to get it. And by the time I got mine, there was five million videos up and I was just like, mm -hmm, yeah. So y'all can let me know if you want me to do a video on this. I was just gonna do like a look and a swatch video, but just let me know. I'm not like a huge Pat McGrath fan like you know her stands really are. I like to have her in my collection because I like a nice well-rounded collection. I like to compare different eyeshadow formulas and you know high-end, low-end, mid-end. I like all type of makeup so I do like having her in my collection but I'm not like a big Pat McGrath stand like some people are. so. I'm not familiar with like all the comparable shades and swatches and this is in this palette and this is in that palette and this shade does this. Honey, I don't know. It's just eyeshadow to me. I put it on. It looked pretty and I'm happy, okay? So, anyway, I did get this palette. <laughs> the palette that everyone has seen a bazillion, jillion times. I do own it. It is in my collection. If you have any questions or concerns, please leave them below, okay? <laughs> so, yeah, I have that. Okay, so let's run through these indie brands real quick. I got these two palettes from Ruby May. Okay, oh my gosh, I love these palettes, you guys. I was just sitting there staring at them last night. I was like, those are so cute. So this one is the Spiced Latte. Spiced Latte, so cute. And look, there's a mirror in here as well. 
But look at these colors, you guys. I was just like, oh my goodness. So it just says sweater weather. <laughs> sweater weather, it's fall. Get you some, actually, after I opened this and started reading the names in here, I went to go make me a pumpkin coffee, okay? <laughs> that is how much this palette affected me, just by looking at it, reading the names. Only thing is missing is for it to smell like pumpkin or peppermint spice or something. It's gorgeous. I love this palette. So this one is a Spice Latte from Ruby May. And this one is the Peppermint Mocha. Look at that. Look at those colors. I love the color scheme of these palettes. It's so different, so unique. Even though it's not so way out that you can't feel comfortable picking this up and using it, you have your beautiful browns in here, mattes, red. You have this gorgeous pops of color in these greens. Hello, gorgeous. So yeah, I love these palettes. They're so cute and I'm so happy I grabbed them. Next, I ordered these a while ago as well. These are, what is the name of the GLF? GLF, I, I ordered a palette. Did I show the palette? Okay, so here's the palette. I got um, this GLF and JDES TV. I think I might've showed this in one of my shop mustaches. I don't know, but I haven't used it yet. Really cute. I guess, I don't know who she is. I guess she's an influencer or something maybe. And it's a collab palette, but they had this huge sale where they had all these like combo deals where you can get a palette, a bronzer, a blush, highlight, all that stuff for just like a ridiculous price. So I picked up one of the combos just to try it out because I've never tried out GLF, I don't believe. So this is her palette. It's cute, cute little rainbow colors. It's kind of kitty to me, you know? Like I said, I don't know who she is. She could be a kid, but I thought it was pretty bright. Out of all the combos that they had, this palette um, spoke to me the most because it's such bright colors in it. But it came with this and yeah, it might've been like 30 bucks or something. You also got, this is the blush, little blush palette that they have. So super bright, corally, pinky tone blushes. And you guys know I love corally tones. So got that. Also has this contour palette very very cool tone um but yeah definitely shades in here that i can play around with contour wise um so yeah got that and then they also included this highlighter palette which has some bright colorful highlighters as well as some deep kind of rich highlighters i'm actually kind of curious with these eye with these highlighters like what they look like on my skin tone so i'm gonna swatch these two bottom ones okay okay yeah i can work with those yeah i could definitely work with those okay why is my nose so popping right now <laughs> My, no my nose is just saying hi. Okay, but anyway, yeah, I can work with those. Not bad. I sit under these lights long enough. My whole face will be shining. Okay, next up, I did pick up this Urban Myth palette from Black Moon Cosmetics. Oh, look at this packaging. It is so pretty. It has a Loch Ness Monster. It just looks all nice and spooky. I mean... It totally fits the whole vibe of this palette and the name Urban Myth. I love it. This is my first um, palette from Black Moon Cosmetics. Have not purchased from them before. But when I saw this, I was like, yeah, your girl is going to try them. Okay, so this is a little sheet. Very cute. These are the shades for this palette. And if you are like, you know... A makeup freak and you spend as much time looking at makeup as I do you've probably already seen this um, but it's gorgeous it is absolutely gorgeous I was actually going to use this palette today instead of the Juvia's but I changed my mind but this I think is definitely going to be next so expect a video on this next or soon I made no promises soon I did pick up a couple of palettes from girl meets makeup um, I do have one palette from them already that I have used in a video a few months back. They have a decent formula. Decent formula. I wouldn't say it's like, oh my gosh, it's my favorite. 
but it's a decent formula and it's a black owned woman owned beauty brand so i love supporting okay i'm going to support and so i picked up a couple more of her palettes what i do love about her palettes is the color stories she has the best color stories like this one is the fall palette and it's just so pretty it definitely says fall it's absolutely gorgeous but it's not like your typical, oh yeah, your basic regular fall colors. It just has like a little bit of a twist to it, you know? Really, really pretty and I like it and I wanted it in my collection. So yeah, I went ahead and grabbed this one. This one is the Cosmos palette, okay? So this is the color story for the Cosmos palette. As you can see, you can definitely see why it's called that. It has the gorgeous purples and blues, pinks and gold in there. Really, really pretty. And it definitely says Cosmos to me. Kind of like, you know, spacey type vibe. Very, very pretty. So that's one thing I really do love about Girl Meets Makeup and her palettes. Her color stories she puts together are bomb, okay? Now I bought a couple of palettes from a company called Cuesta Cosmetics. Don't quite remember. I've purchased so much stuff, but I'm assuming that this is a black owned brand. I'm pretty sure it is. But I picked up a couple of her palettes as well. This one is the Bootyful palette. Really pretty fall look. And this is what this palette looks like. This is definitely your basic fall, warm, earthy color story. But you could definitely use this you know for spring and summer as well because the colors are so bright and so beautiful so yeah i decided to go ahead and try this brand out as well very pretty and this one is called i am bold and you see why this one is called i am bold there are some really beautiful bold shades in here okay right up my alley the purples the blues has this really dark corner over here, but you also have some nice, beautiful, lighter, neutral tones, little pops of red to kind of play with if, you know, you just kind of want to dip your toe over here. And these palettes were extremely affordable. I want to say, did I pay like $10 for these? I don't know, but they were very, very affordable. Look them up on Instagram, Cuesta Cosmetics, and check them out, okay? I'm going to try these out see how they do but yeah you know I love supporting the smaller indie brands just to try them out and see what's happening okay they sent me some um pigments as well in my order I'm assuming they sent these for free I don't remember ordering any pigments but I got like a purple one a blue one and like this red toned one so very pretty I don't really deal with loose pigments too much because they're so messy but I play with them. I'll try them out. Oh my gosh, you guys. I cannot believe how much stuff I have in front of me. It's ridiculous. Okay, so this brand is SS Cheek. <laughs> SS Cheek. SS Chic Boutique. Okay. The packaging leaves a lot to be desired. It's just plain black packaging with a sticker on it. So, I mean, hey, you know? Yeah. Leaves a lot to be desired. And when I say it's plain, honey, it's plain. <laughs> so it's called SS Chic Boutique. That's the name of the brand. The name of the palette is not even on here. I think this is called the Mini Levi Palette. And that's the thing that's like really annoying because of the fact that there's no name for the palette and stuff like that. I mean, I understand smaller indie brands, you know, this stuff costs money. But it doesn't even have the name of the palette on <laughs> here and the palette is absolutely gorgeous it is so pretty my girl dj did a video using this palette and oh my gosh so beautiful so i'm really looking forward to using this palette i mean because the color story is just it's gorgeous to me and when dj used it you know she really liked it but i don't like the fact that the packaging is so so lackluster it it really is so but i'm gonna use it though i also picked up this palette from lime crime i don't know is lime crime an indie brand i don't think so because they're in what sephora i believe i don't know anyway ulta 
I think they're an Ulta, but yeah. So I forgot about this though. I picked up this Greatest Hits Bangers palette from Lime Crime. I thought it was really pretty, really pretty. It's like the color story is gorgeous, but it kind of has like a soft muted type feel. You know, if you want something with these type of colors, but just not so bold and bright and out there, this one might work for you because it is. It's really soft, muted. It kind of gives me like a ethereal feel, if that's the right word. But, you know, it's really pretty. Still has some gorgeous colors to it. And the shimmers in here, very, very pretty. So, haven't used it yet, but other Lime Crime palettes that I have used, I actually really like. So, got that. I also got this palette from Eye Cravens. <laughs> Eye Cravens. I think that's how you say it. Eye Cravens. Um, at first, I couldn't remember how I heard about this brand, but I believe I saw Beats by Deb using this palette in one of her videos. And I was like, what is that? Okay. And I sought it out and I bought it. <laughs> so... Yeah, another small indie brand palette. Very bright, very colorful, very large pans. And this one too, as you can see, this palette is really big. But these are the colors in this palette. The colors are really, really pretty. So I'm hoping that there is some decent color payoff from this, which if Beats by Deb was using it, honey, there's some color payoff because... If you haven't checked out her channel or her Instagram or seen her looks, she her looks are just out of this world. Amazing, okay? Beats by Deb. And I'm pretty sure I saw her using this palette and that's what made me grab it. <laughs> so, yeah, I picked this up. And the brand name is I Cravens, okay? <sighs> oh my gosh, you guys. This is the absolute last brand. Hey, listen. If you are still here, okay, if you stuck around to watch this whole haul video and you're still here, um, let's see, what kind of emoji can we use? Do the cherry emoji. If you are still here, put a cherry emoji in the comment section. You know, the little two cherries. Put that in your comment, you know, before it, after it, whatever. Put that in there and I'm going to have a secret giveaway. I don't know what I'm going to give away yet, but it'll be something good. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm going to do a secret giveaway. If you're still here, honey, put the little cherries in there. And I'm going to pick a name and uh, do a little secret giveaway, okay? So, that'll just be between me and you, okay? So, yeah, last brand, okay. Glam Light. I did order some stuff from Glam Light. I did go ahead and order the donut, the Glam Donut palette okay I know I know I know but it's cute though <laughs> it comes in this cute little packaging look at that isn't it so cute and like all of their stuff the packaging is just ridiculously cute you know it's all fluffy and whatnot so so cute has all the information here on the back and this is what she looks like okay she has a mirror you can see that she has a mirror in there it says glam donut and these are the shades in this palette are you kidding me what so pretty this is going to be perfect like for springtime you know once spring summer hits next year hopefully we'll be out you know living our best lives but anyway yeah very very pretty I think it's gorgeous you know I'll, I will use this next week if I want to <laughs> But it's so cute. So yeah, got that. I also got the Glam Light. What is this? Is this called the Ice Cream? Ice Cream Dream. So I got this Ice Cream Dream palette. It comes in this huge ice cream truck. But when you open it up, the palette itself is just a nice cute little square. So let me show you that if you haven't seen it already. Okay. Like I said, I know I'm on the late bus with everything. But it's so cute. Oh my gosh, look at this. Look at the sprinkles in there. Do you see the sprinkles? Just getting their little sprinkle on. So cute. And it says glam light. Sorry about the ring light, you know. You know how it goes. Uh, 
content creator problems. <laughs> but look at that, the mirrored cone. What? That is so cute. I love this. I don't know, I might love this the most out of all of their packaging. So cute. Huge mirror in here. And this is what this palette looks like. Ugh. Look at that. You got your beautiful bright pastels. The shimmers, honey. Their shimmers are so bomb. So I can't wait to jump into this and play with it. I might, you know, it's like I might do like some type of combination thing like with this. And the, what's the other palette that I have by them? Cake palette, you know, because it has like darker, deeper, colorful shades in there. So it's just kind of fun to just sit down with all these different colors in front of you where you can just pick whatever you want and create a look. I love these type of palettes for that. So very, very cute. Very cute. I am so tired. I feel like I've been talking forever. Lastly, last but not least, you guys, tell me this is not cute. This has got to be one of the cutest makeup items I have ever seen. I mean, this whole little like fudgy ice cream situation, this is so stinking cute. It's so cute. Look at this. Look at this. What? What? Come on now. Come on. Come on. <laughs> this is so cute. Oh, so cute. I love it. But anyways, it's three lip products in here. I think it is, what is it, like two glosses and a lipstick? I don't know. But these are the shades in this cute little chocolate bar lipstick lip kit set. Oh, it is so pretty. I don't know though, it just says Glam Light Lip Set. It doesn't have like a name on here. So the names of the actual lipsticks are just on the products. And they're shaped like a little triangle. You see that? It's so cute, it has a little triangle shape to it. The attention to detail is just crazy. And there's a mirror. Do you see that? There is a mirror on here. <laughs> this, this is the best, this is the best. So this one is chocolate. This one is sweet fudge. So this one has like some little shimmer, shimmery shimmer in there. So pretty. Sweet fudge. And this one is chocolate chip. Very, very pretty. It's a light shade. Let me see, is this a gloss? The mirror on the side is just killing me right now. That is so bomb. It seems like I could smell it, but it could just be in my mind. I don't know. Either way, it's not strong, but yeah. If I didn't have anything on my lips, I would actually try them on. So, yeah. Very cute. I mean, I cannot... I like cute packaging and all, but this here... I, I can't get over this. I cannot get over this. The mirror on there, the little triangle shape, and the whole chocolate bar thing. Like, what? so cute i'm gonna have to see if they have different flavors i didn't even check if they have like strawberry or orange sickle honey i'm here for it so anywho y'all i'm exhausted i am so tired <laughs> but yeah that's it that is everything that i have purchased in the last month okay so yeah let me know down below if there's something that you were just dying to see me use or swatch or something like that i know i still have stuff from the last haul that i need to do i'm sorry y'all i know i gotta be a better youtuber but thank you guys so much for watching don't forget what i said put them cherries down in the comment section and i will see you on my next video Toodles.